wanna do it again. Hi guys, we are hey. very, hey, how are you? very proud to have you here in Paris Frank. for the Back Show 2016. Uh, you, John, you are playing on DW, Pisces yes. Symbols, yeah. and you, Gergo, on Gretsch and uh, also on Pisces Symbols. Exactly. Thank you very much to be here with us. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for much. having me. Our honor. So, our first question the rhythm that you prefer to play. All right. Man, I'm just like going. Thank you. And you, Gergo? Right now, I'm this kind of food like. Together. Together. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Funky. What the song you ever prefer to play? Wow, that's a tough question. Um, a good one, first of all. Um, I mean, I, I like playing. Um, I like playing the, the old Michael Jackson song "Rock with You" because it's it's just it's so melodic and it touches my heart. Okay. And you go. Well, I always like to play actually my song, which is called Matthew Garrison. He's playing on bass and it's 150 BPM. It's always you know, so comfortable to playing double stroke, single stroke, fast, slow, funky, swingy, just comfortable. Buddy Rich, Billy Cobham, and probably Philly Joe Jones. Wow. Mm -hmm. Billy Cobham, Winnie Caligula, Terry Bozio. And what about the philosophical sentence? Don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Moulin Rouge is not far from here. That's what I, well, <laughs> maybe it's rubbing off. <laughs> and you get it. Music is medicine, I believe. Yeah. Nice. Great. And your favorite movie? Wow. You know, I, I kind of thought about that. Uh, I kind of like uh, Young Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite movie, it's, yeah, it's a hard, really hard question, is Melancholia from Lars von Trier. It's not a really mm. happy movie, but super, super deep. Mm. It touched me deeply. The record you're listening the most? <sighs> you know, what I do is not necessarily listen to one record, but I'll pull, I'll pull out an artist such as uh, Dexter Gordon. I've kind of uh, reverted back to that mainstream jazz period and really listened to what our fathers laid out in front of us so we can take from that and learn. So right now it's Dexter, anything by Dexter Gordon. 
Wow, it's beautiful. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm listening a lot of actual pop music, but the most, I mean, I'm the biggest Frank Zappa fan in the mm -hmm. world, so I'm listening to yeah. Frank Zappa as much as I can still since 25 years or yeah. even more. Maybe I'll switch the sneak two in. One is definitely a cymbal related. And I know a lot of drummers, when they put their crashes on their stands, the crashes, yeah. they, they tighten the wing nuts and the, and the, the cymbal so tight, too far, too tight that yeah. what happens is A, it chokes the sound of the crash, okay. B, it'll actually lead to a hairline fracture. Okay. So in the younger drummers, when they start doing that, they may not realize why their cymbal cracked. Okay. So I suggest for all, all crash cymbals, let them rotate as much as possible and, and wobble. Rides are a different story. Okay. Rides you want to buckle down, but the crashes let flow, you'll get more life out of them. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think just it's so important to not sitting too low. I mean, it mm. looks good. But if you are sitting too low, then you will have problem with your knees. Yes. Really unhealthy. Less power, maybe too. Mm, no, I'm not sure with that. But don't sit too low. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. Good, great yeah. advice. most important features of your DW or Gretsch <coughs> drum kit and also pasty cymbals. Okay, I mean, I use a variety of bass drum si sizes, but my normal size is a 2416, that's the normal studio set. So uh, I've noticed that from all the DW bass drums, they're just naturally, they're organically fat right out of the box. So you don't have to do a lot of tuning to them. And I use the own DW muffling, so I, uh, I don't muffle a lot, but just enough to take away the ring uh, for certain studio recordings. And I found that, you know, with John Good's, uh, you know, timbre matching, you know, the drums are all one family. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the, the Peisty cymbals go, there's such an array of cymbals that this great company makes that you can blend certain uh, uh, frequencies and timbres in with each other depending on the song you're playing. So, you know, I, I specifically, you know, use the JR uh, Deep Ride and, and I have a, a JR uh, a Swish Ride and then I blend signature crashes and then maybe a, a big beat crash uh, with uh, dark energy hats. That tends to work well with me. Okay, thank you. Well, <clears throat> I really love the wires from Gresh, the, the 42 wires on the snares. Mm. I love that and I also love the traditional sizes of the drums, like the 22 by 14, it just perfect to me. It has a, enough low to me, it's enough punchy, it has enough attack. I love it. I'm crazy with that. Uh, but the Pisces symbols, you know, I'm the crazy 602 guy. But since they came out with the Big B series, I'm the, one of the biggest fan of uh, the Big Beats too. And I'm actually I'm crazy with the 21 inch crash on the left because it's kind of crash righty but super sensitive. And, uh, and the 24 inch crash or ride or right crash or crash ride. It's just a multifunctional. It's just super, super, super good. Nice.
secret to play as fast? <coughs> uh, you need angry neighbors <laughs> <laughs> and uh, good pillows on, in your bed yeah. to practice a lot for years, seriously. Because there is no rebound, so you have to solve it. Yeah. Yeah. Jan, yes, sir. you are the most recorded drummer in history. It's a honor for, you, for, for us to have you here. <laughs> tell you. you played a long time with Quincy Jones. Too. Yes. Yeah. What are the qualities needed to play with? Uh, you have to listen. Okay. You have to be, uh, you know, you can't be a diva. You need to read. Uh, you need to have a song sense. You need to be on time. You need to have good time. Yeah. Uh, you need to be clean. Okay. Uh, and, and, and most important, um, team player and understanding that it's all about the song. Okay. Wow. Wow. I am. Uh, I have a radio show. It's uh, entertalkradio.com/vinylnight. Okay. So people can get a hold of me at jr at vinylnight.com. I have a. It's an internet. I internet. I interview all the great producers, <coughs> arrangers, songwriters, and artists, guitar players that have changed the world. That happen to be connected to vinyl. And um, been out uh, doing some touring. Next week I'm with David Foster in Chicago. Uh, with Seal. Um, and then I'm producing a rock opera in wow. Nashville called No Paradox. And then uh, there's some huge surprises for 017. Wow. Thank you. Oh. And you go. Well, uh, I have a lot of clinics right now until the end of November. We just finished the Paiste Big Beat promotion clinic tour in Germany, which was for two weeks and was beautiful. But uh, I also was playing in Quebec, Canada, and a lot of clinics in Europe. So, so I'm just coming back to Europe, and I'm doing this till the end of November. That's wow. my current events. Yeah, a lot of drumming, man. Wow, good <laughs> I, I, I can hear it. <laughs>
if you had a superpower. Wow. <laughs> if I had a superpower, yeah. or like to be like a superhero, hmm. I mean, you know, you could try to combine Superman and Batman. Uh, you know, because Superman could fly, but um, then I will be Robin for you. <laughs> I, it, it would not be Robin for me because I think didn't he go to jail? <laughs> but uh, actually, I, I'd like to be Captain Kirk. Captain yeah. Kirk. Okay. Wow. And you? Yeah. Well, I just want to be a time traveler. You know, I just yeah. want to see what what happened exactly in Egypt. You know, during that Ooh, time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Shaisa. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Okay, it's my language. Boss Samek. Oh. Uh, it's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long story. Okay. And I was, I was, I wasn't that rude. So. Oh, you were being kind. Yes. <laughs> Say it rudely. Okay. Like, hey. Okay, but not for you. Oh. Boss Samek a kurva édes anyát. Thank you guys for your support. My pleasure. Thank you guys. <laughs> nice back show. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank All you, right. Frank. Thank you. Thanks, GR, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, uh, Egeva.